Hi, my name is Will Chen, and for this demo, I'd like to show you how to launch and use Kubernetes within Rancher. Today, Rancher already offers the console environments, which effectively provides you a way to scope your compute nodes and containers and allow you to control user access to these resources. For example, my UI, you see production and staging, each with its own set of compute nodes, containers, and user access. Now, to get started with Kubernetes, the simplest way is really just to create your own Kubernetes environment. To do this, you go to your Manage Environments, uh, add environment, and let's call this environment Kubernetes environment, and select Kubernetes as my primary container orchestration engine, and click create. You'll see that I have a third environment now. I'm going to quickly swap over to Kubernetes. Uh, on this screen, you'll see a small dialog showing what Rancher will do in the background when setting up Kubernetes. Because this is a new environment, I don't have any host. But once a host is added, it's going to go ahead and set up all the necessary Kubernetes system stack services. So I'm going to quickly go to the host section. I'm going to add a host. For simplicity, I'm going to select DigitalOcean for my API keys. And let's call it Kubernetes. Let's create three host. And let's make sure these things are big enough. I'll select four gigabytes and click create. Once the hosts have been successfully added to this environment, Rancher will begin installing the various system components of Kubernetes for you. Let's take a look at some of these things. For example, you'll see here that dashboard and tiller and heapster have been deployed. If I click into the infrastructure services, you'll see a few more here. For example, etcd, uh, the various kubelets onto the uh, each compute node, uh, the controller manager, the API manager, proxy, etc. So Rancher basically deploys all these things automatically for you once these hosts have been added. Now that Kubernetes has been installed, let's take a look at some of the features that Rancher provides. The first one is dashboard. This is the Kubernetes UI that basically ships with all Kubernetes distro. If I click on the link here, I'll be redirected to the UI. I'll click around, you'll see not much yet because nothing has been deployed. But if I click on nodes, the three hosts that I had previously has been automatically added to this cluster. Now going back to the UI, the other thing I want to show you is the CLI that comes with Rancher. The first one is kube control. So if I type kube control get pods, obviously I don't have anything right now. The other thing that I want to show you is our Helm CLI. This CLI allows you to install Helm charts. So for this demo, I'm going to quickly install the AWS cluster autoscaler simply because it does not require any persistent storage, which I have not set up. So let's get this thing installed. I do a Helm list. You should see the cluster being installed. Now, the other thing while it's doing that in the background, I want to show you that if you had your own kube control in your local laptop, you can actually get a pre-generated config file that you can copy into your local laptop. Of course, we generate our own username and password uh, that is specifically tied to our Kubernetes distro. Now, once this is up and running, if I go back to the Kubernetes dashboard and I click on deployments, you should see replicas and deployments of the AWS cluster. So this concludes the demo for Kubernetes, and I do thank you for watching this video.